All right, it's that time of year again. Time to put this sprinkler on the roof. It's fire season. This is the first generation sprinkler that we made from Circle Innovations. We're gonna go ahead and throw it up on the roof. Something that's really important when you're putting your sprinklers back up for the season is make sure you have a good no ring installed in all the areas of your fire sprinkler, your hose. That way you won't have any leakage. The thing you're going to check on is uh, if your sprinkler has a setting where it can come and do a back and forth, make sure if you just want it to go around and around, which takes the least amount of pressure to have the sprinkler run properly, have it all the way up so when it gets that pressure, it can go all the way around, no problem. So just check on the settings, make sure that's all the way up. So when it pops up, it clears. Like I said before, we've been running this design. This is the first generation that we made. We've improved it immensely to fit all roofs. We'll show the adjusted uh, version. It's the latest and greatest. But like, I just wanted to show you, this is the one I still use on my house. We've been running it for a few years now for every fire season. So we'll see how she does. All right, here's the latest and greatest design, painted with a high temperature paint. So it's a nice black color. This has the adjustables where they can be spun and adjusted to any pitch of roof. So we'll be able to fit a higher pitch to lower pitch. You could use it on the ground for supplemental to the property. All right, let's check this out. Got my new solar panels here. Good amount of dust on here, so I'll wash this off as well. Let's see how this thing does. Throw your hose down, hook it up. Kind of cleaning off the solar panels at the same time. There's a fire coming up this hill. I turned this sprinkler on, my other fire sprinkler. The area is getting thoroughly soaked, getting the moisture level up getting this roof soaked and the surrounding areas. As you can see, it's reaching all the way to that truck, all the way over the side there. Then this one overlaps on that side. See, it's kind of coming down all the way over here onto my little shed. Watering all these, cleaning these off. 